Hello everyone. In this video, we will see ratio of three quantities. That is ratio of three terms. And we will also see how to combine two ratios into ratio of three terms. So let us start. Now see here there are two ratios. A is to B is one is to three, and B is to C is three is to five. Now there are two ratios here. Okay, A is to B is one ratio, and B is to C is the second ratio. Now what we will do is we'll combine these two ratios. Okay. Now when you can combine two ratios, when there is some common term here, see the second term of the first ratio, and here the first term of the second ratio is same. That is B. So we can combine it. That is therefore A is to B is to C. And here also see the B value of B in both the ratio is same. Okay, here also it is three, and here also it is three. Okay, so we have to check the second term of the first ratio and the first term of the second ratio. That should be same. So we can combine and write the answer as a is to b is to c will be equal to a is to b is how much? One is to three. So one is to three, and b is to c, and b is to c is three is to five. Three we have already written here, so three is to five. Okay, so this is how we will combine two ratios, and here we will get ratio of three terms. A is to B is to C. Okay, one is to three is to five. So for combining the ratio, you have to remember carefully this term should be same. Okay, that is here. C B here also in the second term of the first ratio and the first term of the second ratio should be same, and the value should also be same. Here the value of B is three. and here also the value of b is 3 so this you have to remember while combining two ratios okay you will understand this more clearly when we will solve more examples so we will solve three examples related to this now we will see example 1 the rava laddu prepared by vimal r tasty now rava laddu is a sweet dish and we know that in cooking the ratio and proportion of the ingredients is very important right so the question is the rava laddu prepared by vimal are tasty for which she takes one bowl of ghee three bowls of rava and two bowls of sugar if 12 bowls of rava is used how many bowls of ghee and sugar are required now we will see the solution of this problem and we will see how ratio of three numbers is used okay see For preparing rava laddu, we must takes one bowl of ghee, three bowls of rava, and two bowls of sugar. Okay. The ratio of ghee and rava is okay. Now the ratio of ghee and rava for one bowl of ghee. Okay. So which is equal to ghee is how much? One bowl. So one and for one bowl of ghee, how much rava she takes? Three bowls. So the ratio of ghee is to rava is one is to Three, okay. Three bowls of rava for three bowls. That is, rava is three bowls. For three bowls of rava, she takes two bowls of sugar. Ratio of rava and sugar is three is to two. Okay. The second term of the first ratio and the first term of the second ratio is same. That is, rava and the value of rava is three in both the ratios. Okay. The rava is common here in both the ratios. so we can write this both we can write in ratio of three numbers okay therefore ghee is to rava is to sugar see ratio of ghee and rava is how much 1 is to 3 right ghee is to rava is 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 now rava is to sugar that is 3 is to 2 so 3 here is it is common so 3 is to 2 so the ratio of ghee rava and sugar Is one is to three is to two. So she takes the ingredients in this proportion for preparing rava laddus. Okay. So this is how you will write the quantities in ratio of three numbers. If three or more quantities are given, we can write it in this way. Okay. Now for k bowls of ghee, we will multiply all terms of this ratio by k. For one bowl of ghee, three bowls of rava and Two bowls of sugar is used for preparing laddu. For k bowls of ghee, three k bowls of rava, and 
टू के बाउल्स ऑफ शुगर इज रिक्वायर्ड नाउ वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट एज के इज टू थ्री के इज टू टू के इफ के बाउल्स ऑफ गी आर यूज देन थ्री के बाउल्स ऑफ रवा एंड टू के बाउल्स ऑफ शुगर आर यूज ओके द क्वेश्चन इज फॉर ट्वेल्व बाउल्स ऑफ रवा ट्वेल्व बाउल्स ऑफ रवा ट्वेल्व इज दिस थ्री के रवा इज हाउ मच थ्री के राइट सो दर फोर थ्री के इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व फॉर ट्वेल्व बाउल्स ऑफ रवा वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मच घी एंड शुगर विल बी यूज ओके सो थ्री के इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व दर फोर के इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इज फोर ओके सो के इज फोर वैल्यू ऑफ के इज फोर नाउ वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू so g is k bowls that means k is how much four bowls and sugar is and sugar is how much we have to use 2k 2k is 2 into 4 k is what four so which is equal to 8 so this is the final answer for 12 bowls of rava we need four bowls of ghee and eight bowls of sugar here i don't have place so We, you will write the final answer okay therefore for 12 bowls of rava 4 bowls of ghee and 8 bowls of sugar is required so this is how you can use the ratio of three numbers to solve such type of problems example 2 the ratio of ages of seema and raj is 3 is to 1 the ratio of ages of raj and atul is 2 is to 3 then find the ratio of ages of seema raj and atul now it's given that the ratio of seema's age is to raj's age is 3 is to 1 and the ratio of raj's age and atul's age is 2 is to 3 now we have to find the ratio of seema's age is to raj's age is to atul's age The ratio of three numbers we have to find. But see here, see for finding the ratio of three numbers, the second term of the first ratio and the first term of the second ratio must be same. But here it is different. See in the first word problem, second term was same, so it was easy. Here the second term is different. In the first ratio, the value of Raj's age is one, and in second ratio, value of Raj's age is two. So we cannot. Directly write ratio of three numbers, right? So we have to make this one and this two same. Okay. So this ratio we can write in numerator upon denominator form, right? So this ratio is how much? Three is to one. That is three upon one. See, mass age upon Raj's age will be three upon one. Three is to one the ratio. Now here we should have two because value of Raj's age in second ratio is. Two. So we have to make it two. How you can make it two? We can we can multiply both numerator and denominator by two. That is, we will multiply both the terms of this ratio by two. Okay. So which is equal to three into two upon one into two. Okay. So three two zero will be six upon two one zero two. Okay. So here the second term has become two. So in th this ratio. Raj's age has become two. Okay. Now this Raj's age is to Atul's age is how much? Two is to three. So which is equal to two upon three. The second term of the first ratio is same as the first term of the second ratio. Okay. Now we can write it in ratio of three terms. So how you can write? Therefore, therefore Seema's age is to Raj. Age is to Atul's age. The ratio of the three ages will be equal to Seema's age is to Raj's age is how much here? See, six is to two. This we have to write. This we have to not write. Okay, because see, the second term is one, and here the second term is two. So this one we have changed it to. So here we multiplied this ratio by two, and we changed the second term to two. Okay, so this we have to write six is to two. Okay. So Seema's age is to Raj's age is six is to two. Raj's age is to Atul's age. This two is to three. Already Raj's age is two. We have got the same ratio here. So is to three. 
okay so here if the second term of first ratio is not same like the first term of second ratio then we have to multiply the ratio by suitable number so that we can make it same okay so this is how we will get this is the final answer okay next we will see example 3 if a is to b is 3 is to 4 and b is to c is 5 is to 6 then find a is to b is to c so this type of problems are very important a is to b equal to 3 is to 4 therefore a upon b equal to 3 upon 4 okay and here b is to c is b is to c is 5 is to 6 therefore b upon c equal to 5 upon 6 for combining two ratios the second term in the first ratio must be same as the first term in the second ratio that is the value of b should be same in both the ratio here b is how much 4 and here b is 5 so we have to make this value of b same in both the ratio how you can make see we will multiply this ratio by 5 Okay, four five zero. We will get it will become twenty. Here the second ratio we will multiply by four. Five four zero. It will become twenty. Okay, equal to three into five upon four into five. So which is equal to three five zero fifteen upon four five zero twenty. Okay, this is the value we got. So a is to b is this. Therefore, a is to b is 15 is to 20 okay here equal to here what we will do we will multiply this ratio by 4 5 into 4 upon 6 into 4 so which is equal to 5 fours are 20 upon 6 fours are 24 therefore b is to c is 20 is to 24 okay now see a is to b is 15 is to 20 and b is to c is 20 is to 24 okay now the value of b has become same here also the value of b is 20 and here also b is 20 therefore a is to b is to c equal to a is to b is how much 15 is to 20 and b is to c is 20 is to 24 20 is same right b is 20 so a is to b is to c is 15 is to 20 is to 24 this is the final answer okay so to make the value of b in both the ratio same that is the middle term what is that b is there no so that we have to make it same so we multiplied the first ratio by here what number is there b 5 so we multiplied it by 5 and we got this and the second ratio we multiplied it by here what is the value of b4 so that we got this and finally the b term in both the ratio has become same so we combined this both the ratio in ratio of three numbers okay so this is how you will solve such type of problems when we have to find ratio of three numbers okay so here we end this video i hope you must have understood this If you have any doubts in this topic please write it in the comments if this video was useful to you then please like and share it with your friends thank you for watching